Hey guys, today with Florida Lee Aesthetics, here to show you a really fun and festive pumpkin mask. What you're gonna want to do is get some 100% pure pumpkin. Don't buy the canned pumpkin that's the pumpkin pie mix because that is going to have a lot of stuff that you don't want on your face in it. You want to get organic if you can because it's kind of like with your body, you want to put organic in so that there's no pesticides, no hormones, no weird chemicals and preservatives. Your skin will absorb all of those the same way your internal organs will. So you want to pick the purest, most amazing ingredients you can. And so I'm going to use 100% pure pumpkin. Take a scoop about this big. Give or take, maybe it's about a half cup. So it looks like this. Take one egg. You like that? It's tricky, isn't it? Wash your hands because eggs come out of chickens' butts and they're dirty. So even though you know they're pasteurized a lot of time, you want to get organic eggs as well because you know again you're doing good things for your skin. You want to have good eggs in your refrigerator to use. So always wash your hands because that's just gross if you don't. So you have your egg, you have your pumpkin. If you have dry skin, you're going to want to add maybe two tablespoons of honey. If you have um, more acne prone skin, you're going to want some apple cider vinegar. You want to put about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in there. And I am actually going to do honey. And you can use any type of milk you want. You can use cow milk, organic of course, soy milk. I like almond milk. So you're going to want to put about a teaspoon of almond milk and whisk it all together. pumpkin and it smells amazing. If you feel like it, put in a little ground cinnamon. If you have really sensitive skin, omit this. But if you don't, add a little cinnamon. It smells really, really good. It smells like pumpkin pie. So if you're fancy and have a brush at home, feel free to put this on your face with a brush. It's kind of runny. I choose to use my fingers because I think it's fun. And of course, wash your face before you do this. And do it over a sink because you will drip. Oh, it smells so good. The pocket pie on my face. And if you wanted to do this and jump in the shower, and put it all over after you exfoliate your skin. That's fine too. Pumpkin is full of vitamin A, it's full of vitamin C, and zinc. So all really, really good things for your skin. But if you're not gonna put it everywhere, at least put it on your neck and down your decollete. It's full of vitamins, you can't go wrong there. So after you're finished applying it, you want to leave it on your skin for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It gets a little itchy, and that just means it's drying. So you can pretty much wash it off whenever you want, but you want to try to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. And when you're done, you end up with really beautiful, glowing, healthy skin. And if you want to do this repeatedly, I would suggest only doing it maybe twice a week because pumpkin is a little acidic. Um, you really don't want to do it every day. Of course, keep it away from your eyes. You could put it in your mouth, but it's got raw egg in it. So try to keep it out of your mouth. And then wash it off, moisturize as usual, and you're all set. It's festive, it's really fun, smells great. It's inexpensive and there's a lot of pumpkin masks and treatments out there right now that are really expensive and their main ingredient is the 100% pure pumpkin and you can do it for 
significantly less money. So as always, keep your best face forward.